Yeah. Look how the diamond bleed off my jet. Fresh in my white teeth. See the progress. I'm a stunner, stunner, stunner. I'm a stunner, stunner, stunner. Five scariest places on earth caught on camera. Wait, God, fool. Somebody send me this video, fool. Y'all know I like reacting to the scary video, fool. That's in a goosebump down your throat. Wait, I meant up your arm. Going on. We ain't gonna waste no time. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, drop down in the comments what y'all wanna see next, and go stream me and mine out now everywhere. Bye. It's T A K T. Hey, get it, baby. Oh my god. The anticipation. Top five scariest places on earth. Oh my god. China's scariest bridge. China? Now, if you have a fear of heights, this story Burn. might make you feel a bit anxious. In China's Hunan ah, province, never they have constructed the a glass-bottom bridge First between off. two cliffs. The bridge is suspended over 900 feet in the air and is open to up to 600 visitors at a time. How did they even build that, fool? Real spill. How did they even build that bridge? <laughs> Do they got a thousand-foot ladder? <laughs> is they hanging dudes by string as they build the bridge vertically? You know what I'm saying? Let me know some that in the comments, real spill. How the bridge is built, like in, in the first place. <laughs> Boy, I thought that was a female for a second. <laughs> Let's get a divorce. Uh, <laughs> what kind of emotion is that? Every day. And if the glass bridge is just not scary enough for you, there's also Dude, a glass bridge. How did they where even the build? Around the edge of a cliff at a breathtaking height of over 3,500 feet. Even scarier, at one point on the walkway, there's a glass section that seems to shatter and crack right under your feet. Oh, hell no. Bro, I'm no off worries, it's boy. just a special what effect designed Why to would you the even want to play like that? Why does the bridge have you, electricity? Why does the bridge have electricity? Actually did shatter, sending terrified tourists running for their lives. <laughs> Castle Rock Cave Diver. I couldn't do it for you. Now, if you're even slightly claustrophobic, this home. next story is pure nightmare fuel. Under a small stream in Fenimore, Wisconsin, lies an underwater tunnel that locals have dubbed the Castle Rock Cave. The cave is a favorite among no mount cave divers. The reason they're called no mount cave they divers don't use harnesses? is because the cave is so small that the divers have to actually remove the oxygen tanks mounted on their backs just to fit through the narrow cavern. In this clip, oh, one no. diver even goes so far as to remove his helmet and to slip through an especially tight spot. And you still, bro, you could, fool, you could die right there. What if that can burst under pressure, fool, and you don't know which way to go to swim out at enough time? You start panicking, bro. He took the helmet off. And he, he trying to go through that? Ain't no way you trying to go through that. Is he still alive? Fool, that's the worst place to die, fool. Drown and suffocate, fool, between two rocks that you have never seen before in your goddamn life. He going through that hole. He like, nah, I can just put the helmet back Mount on Everest, after I get over Rainbow here. Rainbow Valley. Through the years, Ooh. over 4,000 people have attempted to climb to the summit of Mount Everest, the he tallest my mountain up, in the fool. world. God, never do that of those 4,000 attempts, some have succeeded, many have given up, oh, no. and over 200 climbers have died on the mountain. Today, what? four climbers were found dead on Mount Everest, and we have Twelve? one from Jim Axelrod. The four bodies discovered in oh, a tent four. near the summit Steel. bring the total four? to ten this season. Four? As horrible as that might be, it gets even worse. Oh my God! Since the trek up Mount Everest would be too treacherous for a body retrieval team, the 200 plus bodies of the dead climbers are dare. left on the mountain. Oh! 
They're still lying there on the same spot where they took their last breath. Due to the freezing temperatures on the summit, the corpses are preserved for decades. Bro, that's because like of the brightly colored way mountaineering suits worn by the hundreds of dead climbers. Drowning? The area near the summit of Mount Everest has earned the macabre nickname the Rainbow Valley. Oh my god, look at all they first camp gear and they just died. The Overton oh Bridge. God. Oh my god. This story might only be scary if you happen to take your dog with you on a vacation to Scotland. You see, there's a strange mystery surrounding the Overton Bridge in the city of Dumberton. Over 50 dogs have jumped from the bridge to their death, and no one knows why. The Victorian era structure has been given the morbid nickname the Dog Suicide Bridge. They probably used to Researchers kill dogs have investigated over there, the strange occurrences. But that was never probably one of the first places where a man about the ate odd a dog. behavior surrounding the Overton Bridge. Dr. David Sands suggests that the cause might be the dog's attraction to the animal smell of nearby minks in the brush below. No. However, locals aren't convinced. They, they say not the theory smell doesn't fully explain the way why there are so many dogs jumping from just this one particular bridge. Residents claim to have seen dogs jump from the bridge, survive the fall, and climb right back up to the bridge and jump again. The more superstitious townsfolk believe the bridge to be haunted. Either way, most locals avoid the bridge completely when walking their dogs. The town has also posted signs to warn visitors to keep their dog on a leash while near the Overton Bridge. The Bolton a dog, Strid. either a mass dog, or, I mean, River yeah, a mass dog is the most dangerous went on there, in the world. Or a dog did that one time, and his Strid looks came back so and that and area. idyllic. Because ain't no way, like my small, dog would never leap over there. Stream. And that's where the danger hides. To explain the Strid, we have to go back upstream, where the River Wharf is just an average river. Nothing odd, nothing dangerous. In the spirit, the leaving like a, is that as a dog it bone, a chicken, a chicken it flavor dog bone on its in the side, air. Turning from a jumping. 30 foot wide river into a 5 foot wide stream that is 30 feet deep. This huh? is the Strid. And to make matters worse, it's 30 feet of underwater caves and jagged rocks that can suck you right down and trap you inside. I don't want to get sucked the years, at all. There have been numerous tragic reports I don't want to get sucked start with at either all, children or adults relaxing around the stream, not knowing the danger below. Either they decide to jump over the seemingly innocent stream but miss, or they simply fall in the water. And that's the end. <laughs> There's other people over there. It's other people right there. Up. It is said that people who fall into the strid have a nearly 100% mortality rate. Even worse, some never even float back to the surface and their bodies are never found. And they spirit just linger there. Oh my fucking God. Oh my goddamn God. Goddamn. Oh my mother freaking what the man on me. Bruh, fool, what the fuck? That fool, that was a good video. Fool. I appreciate whoever seen me that bit in the DM, goddamn. That was some good, oh my goodness. Fool, I hope y'all fucked with the video. Fool, like that bit for me. Drop a comment down the comment, you know what I'm saying? If y'all ain't fucked that hoe. Fool, but real still, oh my god, my head is spinning with the... Why do I be doing that shit? Fool? That's it for this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Drop down the comments what y'all want to see next. And go stream me and mine out and out everywhere. Bye. S T A K T. And I'ma see y'all next video, man. Big brr. Look how the diamond bleed off my jet. Fresh in my white teeth. See the progress. I'm a stunner, stunner, stunner. I'm a stunner.